Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. We have been recently hearing a lot about Canada in the news and its alleged leadership and diplomatic issues. But today, let's take a closer look into how the country has evolved into the current state. While Canada was often seen as a prosperous and progressive nation which supported a lot of issues across the world, acted as a chief mediator, why is Canada in the current soup? Let's take a closer look and try to see what is going on in Canada and how has it been evolving. I have divided my video into four main parts, the economic challenges, political division, environmental causes, most important is the international standing and the diplomatic issues. So come with me, let's take a closer look. A disclaimer before we start. All the sources of information that has been present in this, in this video is taken from the internet and a mixed perspective of people writing it and it is just an opinion. So please don't take it very seriously. Consider this as an educational video. With this disclaimer out of the way, now let us start. First, let us talk briefly about the economic challenges Canada has been facing. Historically, Canada has enjoyed a good economy mainly due to its feature of being a colony of the British, but largely driven by its abundant natural resources, oil and gas industries, and its rich financial institutions. However, in the recent years, the country has been facing a lot of economic challenges. Its slow recovery from 2008 has not been so easy. So many economic headwinds that the country had to face, mainly from countries like United States and Saudi Arabia when there was trade disputes or when President Biden decided to revoke the Keystone Pipeline permit, China detaining its citizens with impunity or Canada being denied the permission of entering as a temporary member of the UN Security Council. Well, Canada stands at the around the eighth place in global economy in scale of GDP. With these factors in place and no non-existence of strong manufacturing sector or service sector and the agro sector, it has become very difficult for Canada to gain its economic glory back. The story now has to be seen of how this evolves into a better situation or worse. But for now, Canada is struggling economically, standing on its past. Next. Canada's environmental records have also come under scrutiny very recently. While the country has made commitment and claims to combat climate change, it has faced a stiff opposition and criticism for its reliance on resource-intensive industries and operations. The debate over the construction of the Trans Mountain Pipeline has raised questions over Canada's commitment to environmental causes. Questioning their commitment to creating a sustainable future. Now let's talk about the political division that the country is facing. Another major problem that the country is facing is strong political division. Canada has long been known for its multiculturalism, inclusive development and growth and acceptance of every form of free speech. But in recent times, there has been a lot of polarization that is going on not only in the political scale, but also on an international scale. These regional tensions have actually led to the growth of separatism in the country and uh, calls for Republic of Quebec or Khalistan movements are some examples of how regional separatism has been raising in the country and thereby the real issues of governance and development have not been tackled by the political leadership there. Not only that, but there were also recent alleged human rights violations during the truckers' protest and alleged state-sponsored violence against the peaceful protesters. The country that was known for its multiculturalism and inclusivity once has been alleged to have all these problems now shows the nature of how the country is, what the country is going towards and which is not a favorable thing for Canada or the world. And now let's see how its international standing is being affected by all these factors. Canada has been, you know, historically seen as a peacemaker 
where they have been mediators or interlocutors between different parts of the country or different countries and have successfully mediated it. And they have also been known as the champion of human rights historically, though that's not relevant anymore. It allegedly it looks like that. Recent studies, standings, news, and uh, even articles on the net have been showing that the international standing and the authority Canada used to have has declined rather sharply and its relationship with some major economic powers like China, India or Saudi Arabia have not been really good. This is slowly drying Canada of its international importance but also of its economic powers. Since Canada is a resource rich nation which is very rich in natural resources they can't do anything by themselves unless they have industries or export the raw materials to countries which can actually process and use them to make good resources countries like india or china with which canada has problems recently so with all these looking at a multi-dimensional study of canada which was rather short it looks like economically internationally Politically, Canada has not been doing good lately. It may be due to problems in political leadership. Its overall policy of supporting the non-important matters in the world has landed Canada into this soup. It is essential to also recognize that it is not a small country and the diaspora of people there from different parts of the world very huge. So there is an innate potential in a country like Canada if it can have a great leadership to lead the people into the right direction and come back to its past glory of economic, peacekeeping and human right leader. With the current Canada, we don't see that happening any sooner, but we would like to see a stronger Canada which would support a better world. Thank you for being with me in this deep dive perspectives. This was an opinion from my side which I was able to surmise after reading a variety of articles on the internet. If you have any thoughts on this, if you think differently or if you have any other inputs, please do let me know on how you felt on the overall analysis of Canada's current state and let us talk in the comment section below. I'll be waiting for the comments. Thank you all for watching. Please support, share and like. Thank you, love you and you are respected. Take care.